Up next on Comcast Newsmakers, a new year and new programs for youth and adults to take part in. Coming up, find out which two sports are proving to be very popular in Spokane. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are at the Ice Palace at Riverfront Park and joining me right now is Adriano Eva and he is the Athletic Programs and Facilities Supervisor for Spokane Parks and Rec. Adriano, thanks so much for coming on the program. Happy New Year to you. Thank you for having me. Before we talk about specific programs or sports that are proving to be really popular, uh, tell us a little bit about Parks and Rec how many programs you have or how many people you serve in a given year because I know it's quite a bit. Yes, we have um, adult programs. We offer sports leagues mainly um, and then we have sports classes for kids and youth and then in the summer we have summer camps. So you're running year-round with yes. different programs depending mm -hmm. on the time of yes. year. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of these because uh, you've got some newer programs for youth Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them, I know, takes place just uh, right here behind us at the Ice Palace. Yes. And it's proving to be uh, really popular. What is that? It's curling. Curling. Now, how did you yes. guys come up with the curling? Well, my office is right here, I, uh, overlooking the Ice Palace. And uh, one day I was sitting there and going like, okay, we have the ice. Everybody plays hockey. What else can we do? And it was right around the Winter Olympics. And I had been spending some time watching curling. So I start searching online for anybody in Spokane who could possibly help us get started. Because it's huge in Canada. We all love watching it, it but it, yeah, it's kind of being slowly introduced into the States. Yeah. So I found out that there was a club that had a president and nothing else. Hmm. So um, I got a hold of this guy. He uh, got excited about the opportunity, um, went after people and uh, put some members together and one year later we um, started our first league wow. right here. And so you, you have the program, it's been running for um, a couple of uh, cycles I guess uh -huh. now, um, but you have a clinic coming up that will get everybody excited as the Olympics are, are here. Yes, so the Olympics start very soon in just a, a few weeks yeah. and um, again people are going to be watching Curly. And um, so we want to give an opportunity for anyone who wants to come in and try. Um, we're going to run a clinic for four weeks and it's $75 on Mondays and um, it's two hours of curling. They will, they will start from the basics and I, uh, as, I, as we have seen in the league, people are playing, people who have never tried it before and after you know a couple hours on the ice they're comfortable and they're having fun. Great, so. fantastic. So you've got uh, some other youth sports that are also popular. Um, you've got uh, flag football, I believe, and also youth tennis. Yes, so flag football is, I would say it's our most traditional uh, league. It's been going for over 30 years. In fact, I have players who have been playing in the league for over 30 years. Wow. And we have uh, about 50 teams in Spokane. We divide them in four divisions. Some of the uh, teams in our top divisions have won national tournaments in Las Vegas. So it's very competitive, uh, very popular, and a lot of fun. And I want to move now quickly to uh, adult softball, which is huge because we're almost out of time. Yeah, so we started our adult softball league last year um, with 85 teams. It was very successful, um, and we are uh, getting ready to start now in the beginning of May again, registrations are open. Okay, so registration's going on now. Even yeah. though it's really chilly outside, you got to already be thinking about softball. Oh, yeah. And huh? everybody can sign up online, I assume? Yes. Okay, Adriano, Eva, thank you so much. You're welcome. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Mm -hmm.